Boom, boom, boom. Ba boom, boom. Chopper, chopper, chopper. Helicopter. It is time for the helicopter triple five here, man. And I want to set this guy to pursuit so I don't have to angle him manually. Because I do want to speed this up very fast. I mean, when you do have the game set to 25 times speed, he can move around the map very fast here. But when you slow it down, man, look, dude, look at this lag, dude. This jet lag. Are you guys having a good time today? I know I am. It is 11 a.m. That is the current time. I pretty much wasted the first hour or two of my day. <laughs> I really haven't done much. I woke up at 8 a.m. and since then, I I've been, I've actually been on my phone, dude. I just got Reddit again. Dude, I spent so much time scrolling through Reddit and through YouTube shorts, dude. What I try to do is I try to get everything that I need to get done for the day, like done as early as possible because I know, you know, I am naturally pretty lazy. I also have a giant beanbag behind me. So like, look, let me show you guys on the cam. See that beanbag? I'm usually sitting right in that spot. The sun is coming right through the window there, right on my head right there. So it's nice and warm, nice and comfy. And I'm there just chilling, scrolling through Reddit or YouTube shorts. But alas, here we are. Right, recording this a triple five once more here and now the helicopter i'm not too sure how well it does we are here on apocalypse like normal go ahead speed it up get razor rotors here but i don't think this guy actually like i don't think he actually beats this well maybe he does because it is hedge you know hedge is the perfect map for him and if i could save him for apache that'd be really nice but i still don't know yeah they're getting very far here i might have to just invest into a moab shove yeah let's get moab shove actually comanche defense is going to be the best in slot here it's going to be a little cheaper and that'll get done what we need to get done. Go to F3 and speed it up. That should handle it, right? Yeah, he's getting pushed back a little bit, so I would have been, yeah, I would have lost if this kept on going. Like, I probably would have lost 10 rounds, but we are good to officially test this guy out. But in all honesty, Hedge is not that bad of a map to actually test him. And I will, I'll stick him right here, you know, just like the Ace, it doesn't really matter where we put him. Go ahead and speed it up here. And let me hold this open so I can upgrade him with my key binds here. But also just like the Ace, I might have to put a village down to make sure all the paths do indeed have camo. But yeah, I really don't remember how well he did. I don't think he did too good. Like, I think he lost around 99 from my last memory and that was on both logs and hedge not sure if he has really seen any kind of real upgrade since then i mean i can go ahead and get a farm down and make sure we actually have the income to get him up once we need him up we do need another upgrade here oh yeah we need camo and i'll go faster faster firing cool and we might as well go razor rotors because we need it for the leads coming up in the next round and then right after i will get the village here and i'll get him that radar scanner but yeah as i was saying i don't really remember how well he did i think he does stop at 99 so we'll have to see again here i might see if how he does just as a triple four you know, I have been sort of doing that test for these towers, seeing how they compare as a triple four versus a triple five. But as you can see, he is already getting pushed a little bit. Let me see how he does for this mob. I feel like the mob will get like all the way right here, right? Yeah, it gets it exactly there. But I am going to go banana research. I feel like I really need income for this guy because we're going to need to upgrade him very soon. We do have some cash on us though. So I am good to go the Apache. That should help out for a lot. And I can go a complete triple four here as well. I need 10,000. There we go. So he's a triple four now. I want to see how far he gets as he is right now. I can go ahead and get a tech butt on him for his ability. If he's gonna drop crates over there, then I suppose I'll get a banana farmer up over here. But you know, I'm pretty sure he's gonna drop crates just wherever he is. I can get back to my farming over here. And a bam. That should be good for the farming. We should have millions of cash by the time we get to round 100 because I feel like he is gonna lose around there as a triple five. He's not doing that bad now, though. He's a triple four right now. And I do have him set to pursuit. But I feel like both locks and hedge is a good map for him because it has a tons of straightaways. I think this one might actually be a little bit better just because, you know, any of the missiles and projectiles that go beyond whatever thing he's attacking will hit something else on the track but i guess the same would be for hedge as well if it's going like up and down in the line so you know either or works right oh yeah look at this mob damage the zmg damage man that thing gets a little bit far so definitely gonna fall off sometime soon in these 80s here yeah the balloons are just now starting to get to the halfway point here at 83 but now that i think about it i think this is overall better than what he's done before because he's just a triple four now and he's getting to the point where his triple five lost that although it was either around 95 or 99 with the rush of ddt's that really got this guy down because i've been telling y'all ddt's are very fast man they might be too fast. So if you work from Ninja Kiwi and you're watching this, them DDTs, man. But here is around 90 here, so we can see how well he does. Yo, he loses? What? No shot he loses to round 90 like that, man. Let me just do a regular three times speed. Is he unable to? Oh, he can't hit DDTs. That's why, huh? Yeah, because his missiles can't hit black balloons, and then his projectiles can't hit lead. So yeah, round 90 is going to be the limitation here, huh? I mean, that's not too bad. He is a triple four, so I would actually say that's pretty good. And we can go ahead and make him even better with Apache Prime. Special Preparations and Comanche Commander. I will see one helicopter here. I'm not sure if that's a bug or not. Okay, they're, they're just all stacked in one. So now he should have plenty
plenty of damage for the DTs. And actually, and now that we have him as a triple five, I can pull up my list and see how well he actually did before. So looking back on my list, yeah, as a triple five before, he lost at round 95 and we are around the corner from it. I think he actually does handle it this time. So he's definitely seen some buffs since then. I personally don't remember him getting buffed, but at the same time, I really don't look too far into the actual patch notes whenever there is an update. So I feel like I'm the one balloons creator who like really just doesn't notice things and like doesn't really pay too much attention to what's really going on. I kind of just play to play and have a good time. But here is a 95 right now with the rush of DDTs. Oh, okay. He's getting pushed back a lot. Okay. You know what? This might be... No, he actually handles it this time. Yeah. They don't even get to the... Well, they almost get to the halfway point. Around here, like past this loop is halfway point, right? Unless like this little stretch here is halfway. But he has surpassed where he's gotten before. So I think if he did that well for 95, I also need to see how 99 is because 99 might be his limitation. If not then, then he's probably not going to make it to 140 is my guess. Unbuffed. You know, he'll probably make it to around like 112 or 115 is what I'm thinking. But let me see these two rounds here. Let me see 99 and 100. So here's 99, fortified DDTs. They get past the halfway point. And yeah, I go lie, you know, maybe 107. <laughs> I think he has pretty decent single target damage. I mean, the bat's not getting, you know, too far here. So I'm just going to get past this little bend here, then get popped, right? Yeah. It's mainly those DDTs, though. DDTs are definitely going to push it. So yeah, my guess, I'm going to stick with what I said, and I'm going to go with 107. I feel like that is going to be the round he loses on. But you guys know how it goes. The only way for us to know is to go ahead and play it here. Go ahead and F425 time speed, and I will catch you guys in a second when he loses at 102. Wait, what? Okay, let me play this back So The game must have been too fast, right? Let me go back to three times speed and never have i had that happen to me before i'm about ready to get done my transition and he just loses dude right off the bat yeah those fortified dts man although he's handling it now sort of yes he handles it now wait what so i guess this is another tower here where i have to just keep the game played at a super slow speed i mean that's fine but i think he is gonna lose in you know one of these next rounds anyways i'll keep it played as slow as it can be it seems like he needs it to be slowed for him to actually beat this so once again you guys know how it goes i'll catch you guys in a second oh is this where he loses i was playing a puzzle on my phone Yo, this is definitely where he loses i ain't gonna lie yeah that is a way too many dgts for him to handle so 106 one round below the way i guess not bad that's one of my closer guesses but i guess the base triple fives isn't really too hard it's when they have buffs and that's when it gets difficult to predict so i'll put round 106 in my notes and we are good to go ahead and get this guy some uh, real buffs here temple village perma brew ultra percent overclocks energizer heroes i got pet right here and extras any kind of other tower spam or t5s I don't think any other tower actually buffs this guy other than he himself. So we should be good here. And everything is nice and tech botted. Energizers tech botted. The villages as well. Same with the main tower. And then also Pat here. So we should be good to go ahead and play this here. And it should be, yeah, we're getting these shredded down very fast here. Then I can go ahead and add that onto him as well. So that should be a lot of attack speed. Now he is a tower that benefits a ton from attack speed, just like the ace here. And speaking of which, if I look back at my notes here, when he did have all of his buffs, oh, this time he only got to around 145 with all the gold village boss so that really isn't too high although this time now like he himself got to round 106 that was without buff so with all these i mean i don't know he seems pretty good now like he just beat that round and we didn't see the whole map flooded with ddt's anymore because that usually was his main problem right but once you get into these later rounds the main problem then becomes bads fortified bads mainly so again i don't think he's actually going to lose to 140 i feel like he might get a little bit beyond there so i'm gonna go i'm gonna highball this time man and say he's going to get to like one 56 is what I'm thinking. I'm thinking 156 and go ahead and fast forward here. I really would like to see a bad so I can have a better indicator, but I feel like he's actually going to get a little bit further than when he has the gold village. I mean, he can also pick up a tower too. He can't pick up his own tower. I guess you can make, <laughs> I'll make him pick up the, the farmer, man. That'll be his door gunner. That'll be the farmer. That way we can always pick up any of the crates for cash, man. But 156 is going to be my guess. I'm going to go ahead and hit F4 speed to a 25 times speed and it's a little bit laggy, so I might have to slow it down as we go along but it should be good for a while here he's got a lot of projectiles as well and i'm sure we'll see more of them as the balloons get further along the map yeah bads aren't even getting past the first bend here honestly 156 might be a bit low here dude but i already said 156 so that's what i'm gonna stick with anyways you guys know how it goes i'll catch you guys in a second all right, here, round 175. This is the third time I'm playing it back. First time was 25 times speed. Second time was three times speed. And now it is normal time speed here. And you can already see the fortified DDTs are getting a little bit far. So my prediction is that we actually do pop open the bats, but the DDTs are the ones that zoop on by. Let's say zoop. I meant zip. I think I mixed up zip and pop and I got zoop. But I'm loving this visual, man. It's like, it reminds me of that one map that I recreated for Blue ZD6. What was it called? Red and white? Oh yeah, it's fortified DDT. Yeah, okay. So that's it. The 
45 DDT is it's just a little bit too fast for this guy. But still, this actually isn't bad at all. This is what is not 10, but nine rounds higher than what I predicted. I first said 156. Wait, hold on. My math is wrong. This is a 19 rounds higher than, right? Yeah, it is 19 higher, 19 rounds higher. That is the correct math here. And we can look at the positive, everybody. 44 on this guy, 19K on this guy, 102K on him, nothing on the village, 3.9 mil on the Superman. Super, it's getting bumped by something. And then Pat also has 3.7, but our main tower here has 143 million here. So this actually did a little bit better than I thought. And I've been sitting here the whole time, surprisingly. And I, once I saw it, it was like at one, like 50 something. I was like, okay, this is definitely gonna get past what I predicted. But I still did kind of figure that this guy would get further than what he did with the gold village, just because like he definitely seemed like one of those towers. You know, like whenever a tower is like a base one gets over, I think like over 10 to 15 rounds higher than what it did in the past. Then that's usually indicated that I might do better than it did with the gold village. At least that's kind of how I've been basing these things. But all in all, not so bad. And I'll be honest, the heli really isn't one of my favorite towers here just because like, I feel like he doesn't really have too much damage. You know, he's the trade-off of him being able to see throughout the entire map is that he doesn't have like nearly as much damage as some other towers. You know, that would cost around the same price, but overall not bad. And we are about halfway through our list here. So we still have quite a bit more of these to go.